Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we're making this super fast, super easy floors and windows baby blanket. It of course can be made any size at all. It doesn't have to be for a baby. And also putting on this super cute border just from yarns from your own yarnscape that match some of the colors that are in the cake you're gonna use. Of course, you're welcome to use any yarn at all. It doesn't have to be a color changing yarn. It would also be beautiful in a solid color. So let's get started. To make this awesome little blanket, I am using three cakes. They're called Cakes Blues from Ice Yarn. There are three cakes in a pack, so I'm just using one pack of yarn. It is 100% acrylic, 100 grams, 210 meters, size four worsted weight. You can use any worsted weight yarn at all for this blanket, even if it's not color changing, you can do it in a solid color, or you could change colors whenever you felt like it but I really like this yarn and it works up like something super cute. So, and it's really fast and easy to do. So what you're gonna need is one pack of this yarn or three of these Cakes Blues and a crochet hook. I'm using a six millimeter for this pattern. A stitch marker in case you wanna come back to your work later and a darning needle to sew in your ends later on. So we're gonna start just by making a regular slip knot. So make a slip knot any which way that you normally do. Shrink it down and put it on your hook. Now we're going to chain four. So just grab your yarn, turn your hook, and bring it through. So that's a chain one, two, three, and four. Now to count your chains, you don't count the knot and you don't count what's on your hook. You just count these V's in between or just the loop on one side. One, two, three, four, whatever's easier for you to see. We're just gonna be working into our very first chain. Push your hook in, we're just gonna make a slip knot, so push your hook in. It doesn't matter if you have one or two loops on your hook. Hold the center open, so slide your finger and hold it with your thumb so the center of those stitches is open and you're touching. Grab your yarn and bring it through both loops. So that is a slip stitch that I'm holding open with my thumb and finger, and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now wrap your yarn twice. We're gonna be doing treble crochets for this pattern. Go straight back into where you're holding it open, the center of that chain four ring. Push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's our chain four counts as a treble crochet and our first real treble crochet. So that counts as two. We're gonna do one more. So wrap your yarn twice, go into the center, grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Wrap your yarn twice again. I'm holding those loops on my hook with my finger so they don't slip around. And I'm also working over my tail. I'm holding my tail along with that ring down at the bottom. So we're gonna go and make three more double crochets into the center of that ring, working over our tail. So hold your loops on with your finger and go into the center of that ring. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. is another set of three treble crochets and our corners are chain sixes so one more corner chain six one two three four five and six wrap your yarn twice and into the center ring again going over that tail three more treble crochets so we have three sides of our square complete we need one more corner so chain six one two three four five and six. Wrap your yarn twice 
and three more double crochets into the center of the ring going over your tail. And our last corner is another chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're going to do a slip stitch to join. And we're just gonna join to the top of this chain four. So you can count your posts up. You can see your sticks coming up straight. If you just lay your needle over top, you can see that this stitch here is going to be your first chain or the top of the chain four. And if you pull on it, you'll see that it makes a nice square edge. Or you can count your V's going up, whatever is easier for you. There's one, two, three, and here is four. You want to go in and get two loops of that stitch on the top of your hook. So you want to go underneath two of these stitches or two of the strands of yarn. Just use your fingers to poke them onto your hook like that and slip stitch to join. So just grab your yarn, bring it back, turn your hook and bring it through. So there is our first round of our blanket complete. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three and four. That counts as our first treble crochet. And now we're going to go into where the stitches we already made underneath this loop was kind of hanging down underneath the first loop and into the second stitch. So we're going to make two treble crochets into the next two stitches. So wrap your yarn twice into the next stitch, two loops of that stitch on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back and treble crochet. So triple take off like that. Wrap your yarn twice and into the next stitch, one more treble crochet. So for this pattern, treble crochets always get another treble crochet. So that's kind of easy to keep track of. And now we're going to do three treble crochets into this corner space. So wrap your yarn twice and three treble crochets just right into the space and around that chain. There's one. two, and three. So that is the side of our square. Now we're going to chain six for our corner. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Wrap your yarn twice. Hold those loops on your hook with your finger so they don't slip around. And three more treble crochets into that corner space. One, two, and three. Now into our trebles, one treble crochet into each. So wrap your yarn twice and treble crochet, one treble crochet into each stitch. There's one, two, and three. Wrap your yarn twice and three treble crochets into the corner space. Just into the space and around that chain like that. And for our corner, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Wrap your yarn twice and into the corner space, three treble crochets just to finish off that corner. Into our treble crochets, three treble crochets. Our corner is three treble crochets, chain six, and three treble crochets, three treble crochets into the next, and just repeat until we get back to where we joined. So this is what your square will look like when you finish your second round. And we're just going to be slip stitching to the top of the chain four. We'll always be doing that. So we're just going to go into the very top of the chain four. You can count your V's coming up, but I just like to count one over from my last actual stitch. Sometimes that V, the first V at the bottom can be hiding, but it can't hide at the top. So I just go one over right into that spot and two loops of that stitch on my hook to do a slip stitch. So just push your hook in. I want two loops of that stitch on my hook and slip stitch to join. So bring your yarn through, turn your hook and bring your yarn through. So that's the end of round two. For round three, we chain four. One, two, three, four. We'll always be ending and starting our rounds in the same way. 
And now into the next two treble crochets, we're gonna be doing one treble crochet into each. So wrap your yarn twice, hold them on your hook, into that next stitch, one treble crochet. Wrap your yarn twice and into the next stitch, one treble crochet. So our center is always gonna go up our entire blanket. This star shape or this X is gonna be everywhere all the way through our blanket. Now we're gonna jump over these next three treble crochets. So chain three, one, two, and three. And do your corner. Your corners are the same as the round below. Three treble crochets, chain six, and three treble crochets. There's my three treble crochets. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and three more treble crochets into the same corner, just like that. Don't worry if your stitches aren't all evened out, they'll even out as your blanket grows. And we're gonna skip the next three treble crochets, so chain three, one, two, and three, and then find your center three. I just kinda wiggle my fingers in, and catch where they are. So these three stitches, and you can see if you pull them like that, you'll see this stitch opening up right here. So that is the top of our first treble crochet. We're gonna be working into that stitch with another treble crochet. So wrap your yarn twice and into that treble crochet. So into the fourth stitch, one treble crochet. Wrap your yarn twice and one treble crochet into the next two stitches. So we're doing our sets of three for this round. Three treble crochets and chain three. There's our three treble crochets. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip three and build your corner. Corners are three treble crochets, chain six and three treble crochets. It looks like this so far. Now we're gonna chain three, skip three, and do our three treble crochets. And chain three, skip three, corner, and just repeat this all the way along. Skipping three, the first and last three of each row, building your corner and working into the center. So chain three, and three treble crochets. And again, just wiggle your stitches apart to see which ones line up and go into that fourth double crochet from the corner or the first of the center three to do your set of three treble crochets in the middle. Chain three, skip three and do your corner. So you're gonna repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. So I've done my chain three and we're gonna slip stitch again to the top of that chain four. So I'm just gonna find the, the top of the chain four, the next stitch over, just right there and slip stitch to join. So push your hook in, two loops on your hook, bring your yarn back, turn your hook and slip stitch to join. Chain four, one, two, three and four. And now for this round, we're going to be going along doing treble crochets everywhere. So we're gonna be doing a solid row again, like the second row we did. So we're putting, there's no chain threes in this round. So every treble crochet is going to get a treble crochet. So into the next stitch, treble crochet, and the next stitch. Our chain three spaces are going to get three treble crochets right into the chain three space. So there's one, two, and three. And our treble crochets get treble crochets. So three treble crochets, one into each of the next stitches like that and now our corner so three treble crochets chain six and three treble crochets and now keep going around the same way treble crochets into treble crochets and chain three spaces get three treble crochets corners three treble crochet chain six three treble crochet all the way around and i'll meet you when we get back to where we started so i've worked my way back around everything is back to a solid row of treble crochets i did three treble crochets into the space right before my join 
And now we're just gonna slip stitch into the very same spot, the top of the chain four. Push your hook in, two loops of that stitch on your hook, and slip stitch to join. Chain four, one, two, three, four. So that doesn't change for the whole pattern. That's how we're always gonna be doing it. And now we're gonna go back to doing our row with our chain threes and our spaces. So this is a fast row. We did our chain four, that counts as our first treble crochet on top of that stitch. So we need to put one on top of the next and the next. So two treble crochets, one into each of the next two stitches. Chain three, one, two, and three. We're gonna skip three and go into the next three. So if you just wiggle your fingers again into the row below and line them up with the three stitches on top, these are the three stitches that are gonna be getting the treble crochet. So go straight into the first one and make a treble crochet. And now just check that you have skipped three, one, two, three, and you've gone into the fourth. So that is what you want it to look like. And one treble crochet into each of the next two stitches. So we're just going back along building our windows. Like that, chain three, one, two, three. So now we're gonna build our corner. Corners, three treble crochets, chain six, and three treble crochets. So chain three, skip three, into the fourth treble crochet, and one treble crochet into each of the next two stitches. So it looks like that. Chain three, skip three, wiggle your fingers in to find your, make sure you're in the right stitches, three treble crochet into the next set of treble crochets down below. Chain three, skip three, three treble crochets into the stitches down below and build your corners. So you're gonna keep going, making windows all the way around and then the following round is gonna be solid treble crochets. So you're going back to making a nice wall and then alternating between making windows and walls, windows and walls, windows and walls, all the way up until you, your blanket is the size you want it to be or it gets a little wonky. Now you might get to a spot in your blanket where if you make it go all smooth, it feels like your corners are starting to whoop out. There's too many stitches in your corners. So I'm just gonna show you how to fix that if it bothers you. Another way you can kind of see that it's happening. If you fold up your blanket starting with the center nicely lined up and it's laying flat on top of each other, you can see that this bottom edge, the seam in half, is not straight across. We're getting extra stitches. So I'm just gonna show you how to fix that. And why I don't suggest starting that way is it's just easier to start knowing the pattern. And then if it starts going like this, I'll show you how to fix it. It's super easy. And once you're already this far in your blanket, you can totally manage doing it. You also can fix it before I did. You can start this sooner. We're gonna fix it on the solid round. So all you're gonna do is when you get to your corners for the solid round only, we are just gonna do two treble crochets instead of three. So there's one and two. Still do your normal chain six. That doesn't have to change. One, two, three, four, five and six, and two treble crochets into the other side. It'll, you can see it a little bit, but it's not super obvious and no one's really gonna notice at all how you altered your pattern. So that is how you're gonna do this row. When you do the next row, your windows, your windows are the same. You're still gonna put your three treble crochets and chain six into the corners, but for your solid row, you're just gonna skip a treble crochet, one on each side of your corner, and that'll help your blanket not wonk out. So I hope that helps and we'll see you when your blanket is as big as you want it to be or you have run out of yarn. When you've finished your three balls of yarn, I didn't have enough to finish my last row and you do want to end on a floor row or the solid treble crochets. You don't want to end with windows, you want to end with a solid row. So I just started 
with the yarn I had and kept going until it finished. And then I just joined to another color that was similar and kept going. So I just finished the row with yellow going like halfway around the blanket. It's your choice if you want to substitute a yarn to finish your row or if you want to stop when you have enough of the exact same yarn to finish and end on a solid row. So I slip stitched to join and now just chain one. Cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now to start your border, I'm going to be starting with the white. So this is just Saver 100. Uh, we're not going to start in the same spot. Pick a different corner. And we're also going to turn our work. I want to be working into the back of the blanket. And for the border, we're going to be flipping our rows or turning our work at the end of each row. That is going to keep our border laying flat and not curling up. Pick a corner and we're just going to go straight into the top of this first treble crochet. So just right into that dimple. If you put your hook in and flip it up, you'll see two loops of that stitch on your hook. That is what you want. So put your hook in, loop of yarn on your hook, bring your yarn through, slip stitch with both strands to join and drop your tail. And chain two. One, and two. If you joined your yarn in a different way, you're going to want to do a chain three. Skip two stitches, one and two. We're going to be working into the third. One single crochet. So push your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back, wrap your yarn and take off two. That's a single crochet. Chain two, one and two. Skip two, one and two. Into the third single crochet. Chain two, one, two, skip two, one, two, into the third single crochet. So keep going making these little single crochets with a chain two in between all the way along your row and I'll meet you when you get to the corner. When you reach the corner, do your same chain two. You also wanted to have ended your last row with this, with the full three double crochets into each corner space. Don't do a decrease for your last row of your blanket. So single crochet, chain two. Now we're going to go straight into the corner space and single crochet, chain two, single crochet. We're going to do this till we have four single crochets in our corner. So there's two, chain two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet all into the corner space like that. So we have an increase, an increase, and our new corner. So four single crochets with a chain two in between, all into the corner space, chain two. And now after the corner, we're going to skip three. We're just gonna jump straight over and single crochet into the first double crochet of our continuing set. So after the corner, skip three, one, two, three, and into the first double crochet that's into a stitch, single crochet. That one will be a bit different, but it'll work out later. Don't worry about it. Chain two, skip two, and single crochet into the first treble crochet that's into the space. So that's how we're just evening it out. We're doing the same thing all the way around. And whatever we need to kind of adjust, we do it right at our corner. So keep going like this and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. Just finish off your corner like you always have been, four single crochets with the chain two in between. And don't worry about your blanket kind of curling up and looking like you don't have enough stitches that's fine. We want it to be tight. That's going to hold our blanket in shape as we do our border. So after your last single crochet, we are just going to slip stitch straight in to the center of that stitch where we joined our yarn. So I'm just going to slip stitch right down into the center of that stitch, grab my yarn and bring it back. I'm pulling on my yarn. I want it to be a tight slip stitch and bring my yarn through. Chain one, turn your work and slip stitch way over into this next chain two spot. So we're going to join all this up as our single crochet. So right into the next chain two spot, slip stitch, 
and chain three. One, two, and three. One double crochet into that spot. So wrap your yarn once, go in, grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. That is your first double crochet. One into the stitch. So just stretch it out. You'll see in between those legs of that single crochet. Go in, grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's another double crochet. So your chain counts as a double crochet. So two into the space, one into the stitch. And now we are at our new corner. Corners are two double crochets, one and two, all into the space. Chain two, one, two, and two more double crochets into that same spot. Just that space, the center space. So there is our new corner. One into the stitch, so double crochet into the stitch. And two double crochets into the space. So we're gonna keep doing this all the way along one double crochet into the stitch, two into the space, and corners are two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. So keep going like that, and I'll meet you when you get back to the join. So when you reach your way around, I've done my two double crochets into the last chain two space, and now we kind of have this interesting bit from where we joined. So wrap your yarn and just push into that single crochet, making one double crochet. And now we are going to slip stitch to join. So top of the chain three, just right over there. We wanna make sure we have two loops of that chain on our hook. Put our hook in, bring your yarn back, turn your hook, bring it through. There's our slip stitch, chain one to secure, and cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down. For the next round, we want to be flipping our work. We want to be working into the back of our last round. So we have our macaronis facing up. Put your hook into a corner spot. Loop of yarn on your hook. You want to leave a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Bring your yarn through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Wrap your yarn twice. We're gonna skip four stitches. So we're gonna skip one, two, three, four, and we're gonna go into the fifth. Just right there, two loops of that stitch on our hook. So hold those loops on your hook with your finger and go into the fifth stitch. Make three treble crochets. There's our first one. Second. And third, chain two, one, two, wrap your yarn twice, skip four, one, two, three, four, into the fifth, three treble crochets. So we're gonna keep doing this all the way along this row, doing three treble crochets, chain two, skip four, three treble crochets, all the way along the edge of our blanket, and I'll meet you at the next corner. So keep going like this all the way along the edge of your blanket and I'll meet you at the corner. When you get close to the corner, it might not line up exactly. So wherever your fifth stitch is, just go ahead and do what we always do. So my fifth is one right before my corner. I'm just gonna go and make my three like I normally would. If yours is in a different spot, do not worry about it. Chain two, and now into the corner, we're gonna do a bigger shell. We're gonna do five treble crochets into the corner, just into the corner space. So there's our five treble crochets into the corner space, and now we just wanna do the exact same thing on the other side of the corner. So whatever we did before the corner, we wanna mirror it on the other side. So I'm gonna do my chain two, and I'm gonna skip one and do my shell into the second stitch, just so it matches both sides of the corner match. So I'm gonna start my next side right here with my three treble crochets. 
So that is what my corner looks like. Now I'm going to keep going down the next side, doing my three treble crochets, chain two, skip four, all the way down this side, and I'll see you at the next corner. My next corner lines up, so if I skip four, I end up right in the corner spot, so go ahead and do that. If you have a corner where you, your fifth stitch is right at the corner, I would skip it and go straight into that corner space. So jump straight into the corner if yours lines up the same as mine did, and five triple crochets. Chain two. And we always want to do what we did on the first side of our corner. So we just did a straight skip four and shell into the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. So straight into the fifth, start your first shell of three treble crochets. So keep going like that all the way around until you get to where we started. So back where I joined, I only have three stitches left on the one side, so I'm just gonna go with it. One, two, there's my chain two, and I'm gonna do my shell into the corner spot. And our chain we started out with is gonna count as our last treble, so I'm gonna do four treble crochets into that corner space. There's four treble crochets. So we're gonna slip stitch to the top of what would be our treble crochet. So because I joined my yarn in this uh, slip stitch fashion, I count that as my first stitch or my first chain. So one, two, three, and four. Or you can count back from the top, which is what I actually do. This is my last treble crochet. So one, two, into the third one over. I'm gonna go right into that chain and that's gonna pull it up like a treble crochet. So push your hook in. You want two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook and slip stitch to join. That has finished up our corner, our round, and chain one to secure your work. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So don't worry totally if your stitches don't work out because for our next round, all of our stitches, now our blanket's totally even so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Pick a new corner to start on where you haven't joined your yarn, your yarn before and now we're working in to the pretty side of our blanket and the back side of the row we just did. So into the center treble crochet, just into this stitch right there. Put your hook in, we're gonna join our yarn. So loop of yarn on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. And chain three. One, two, three. If you join your yarn in a different way, then you're gonna to wanna to do a chain four. This is gonna count as our first treble crochet. And make two more treble crochets into this same stitch. So that counts as three treble crochets. Drop your tail. And we're gonna make a single crochet into this space. So just put your hook in, grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So just a single crochet to pin down that partial shell. Wrap your yarn twice and into the top of the center treble crochet, just right here. We're gonna be doing shells of five treble crochets. And into the chain two space, just one single crochet to pin everything down. Wrap your yarn twice. Into the center treble crochet, just the top of that center stitch. We're gonna do another shell, so five treble crochets. There's our five trebles and single crochet into the space. So keep going like this all the way along your row, doing five treble crochets and a single crochet into the space all the way along and I'll meet you when you get to the corner. So into your corner shell, we're gonna find the center uh, treble crochet. So you could just wiggle your fingers, find the center one. And we are gonna make nine treble crochets into that stitch. So our corner looks like that, nine treble crochets. And now just keep going around your blanket, doing the same thing, making your sets of five treble crochets, single crochet, and into the corners, nine treble crochets, single crochet, all the way around, and I'll meet you when you get to where we joined. So I've done my nine treble crochets in my last corner. 
So we'll do my single crochet to pin it down. And now we have to finish off this shell here. We need five, a total of five treble crochets. And we've done our chain and two trebles. So we need to do two more into that space just to finish off that shell. So there's our two. So now we're gonna slip stitch to the top of our chain four. So if you look at your stitches, one, two, it's the next one over right there. We're just gonna go in. We need two loops of that chain on our hook. So push your hook in and slip stitch. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through. And that is the end of that color. Now flip your blanket over so you are working into the back of your shells. It just helps your border lay flat and not curl in one direction. And you'll see your single crochet in the center. If you kind of pull it apart, you'll see that V. We are ignoring that stitch. Every single single crochet we're going to ignore. We're just going to go into the top of these real stitches, the real trebles. So put your hook into your first treble crochet of any shell. Doesn't matter where you start. Join your yarn. So put a loop of yarn on your hook, pull it through, and slip stitch with both to join. Drop your tail. We could work over it a little bit, so we could just kind of lay it along top of our work. And we're going to be going into our stitches, just these dimples here. So chain one, that counts as our first single crochet, and one single crochet into each treble. So there'll be five single crochets per shell. There's three, four, and five drop your tail and we're going to jump over that single crochet so ignore the single crochet jump over into the first treble and one single crochet into each treble so we're going to go along our entire blanket doing this one single crochet into each treble skip the single crochet skip the the, the valley just jump right over into your next shell so it looks like this just keep going making one single crochet into each of the treble crochets ignore the single crochet in the valley and I'll meet you when you get back to where you joined so instead of doing a slip stitch I'm going to cut my yarn leaving a long enough tail to use a needle and pull my hook up and my yarn through that last single crochet just like that so we're going to do an invisible join so thread your needle And we're just going to push our hook straight into the top of that chain or into the center of that chain we made. Bring your yarn through. Keep an eye on where your yarn's coming from because we have to go back into where it's coming from. So pull it over and now back down into where it came from. And then just tighten it up so it looks like a regular size stitch and now sew your tail in. Cut your tail and there you go your blanket is finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Love to see a picture of yours. You can tag me on Instagram at Secret Yarnery or find us on our Facebook group the Secret Yarnery Crochet Community. Love to see how yours worked up and what yarns you picked for your border. So thanks so much for inviting me over. We'll see you in the next video and stay hooked.